Guys, so I accidentally forgot to hit record. Uh, and I, but I chose the one that said it gives me one resurrection. So I think if I fall in battle, I get to come back. I'm gonna stay because we're not full. And I don't see any reason to not stay and just get tons of stuff. He dropped this amulet, which is not bad, but it's not great. Yep. Plus, I got his Wolven Mortality. Well, maybe that's the thing I got for the bonus. I don't know. It doesn't matter. The Necromancer is just going to blow through this stuff. What's with all the garbage to your stuff, man? There's a little neck. There's a little skeleton just following me. That's cool. There's a little reminder on the world map that hey, every time you spawn, you start with three really uber tough skeletons. I love it. I love it. What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? You gonna die is what you gonna do. All of you suck. Take the plus skeleton. So I can summon five now. Where does the fifth one even go? There's no point in putting stuff on the board because not only am I maxing out my books. Uh, no. We'll wait until we get start filling up on something so we're not wasting everything. Mm, attacks. I feel pretty good about that. That's bad. Oh my god, what? I've got skeleton orchards! The longer the fight goes, the harder it becomes to win for them. That's amazing. I can summon archers from a distance. down to four, but defense is eight, regent skeleton level is... No, I need attack speed and quality. <laughs> quality is up to 27%, but that's... But I'll lose too much attack speed and level to get 1% chance. No... Sucks. These guys are having a hard time getting through these skeletons. Uh oh, I need a guard, I need a guard. God. Oh no, oh no. Good lord, he that that's the problem with the necromancer right there. Is attack speed thirty six percent. But I only have I need to keep at least four. Getting pretty good.
amulet. No, it's not enough stats. Summon quality will go up. The skeleton level will stay the same. I'll trade 4% attack speed for region and invasion. Okay with that this time. Because I do need a little bit of region as I stand right now. Doesn't matter if I annihilate them now, I've already spawned the boss. Up oh, there we go. We're getting four. So there's no point in sticking around. Make it easier to make sure I survive. And let's just take a full load of loot back. This might be a really short episode, I don't know. Because I do need to also have lunch in this recording session, unfortunately. That's an amulet? It looks like a belt. But it's okay. Sometimes the episodes are shorter and sometimes we're just awesome. Man, I love that guard. I wonder if there's an even higher tier skeleton that you can summon besides the guard. Like a mage skeleton. Well, I don't know. Something. Dude, vampire fights used to be a little difficult, but for the necromancer, because you can summon constantly... And I think that your skeletons are higher, higher quality than the ghouls that you can spawn in those cities. It's just not even a... It's a joke. Yeah, we're gonna retreat because we cannot get any more of this. We're almost full on this. We're almost full on the... So yeah. We're gonna start getting diminishing returns. But that's pretty damn good. That's pretty damn good. Intel said... Oh, we can build the supply depot. So, the appraiser will be happy to identify all the strange things you find on the road and pass them on to the people who need them the most. Unlocks the supply feature. From now on, you will begin to find useful artifacts for your people. Like, how do I find them? Unlocks the ability to craft if you have the necessary buildings and unlocks the ruins card. But how? Well, let me just go build it. Good news! We've come up with a list of things we need. I won't say they're all absolutely necessary, but they would make our lives a bit better. We can't keep eating from the ground, while the food is also... the ground. And then we go to sleep on the same, you know, ground. I'm exaggerating, of course, just want you to get the idea. If you stumble upon a good piece of furniture, or an instrument, or anything else of use, remember the place and take a wagon there, and we'll see that your findings go to the right person. Woo! I unlock new buttons! So, do I stop finding them in the... Craft anything? I can. I made a blacksmith's hammer. I don't know what that does. And... I made garlic. I made more garlic. Mixed nuts. More garlic. Oh, what's not tied to- I'm getting achievements left and right from this. So I made a lot of garlic and, uh... <clears throat> Plus one defense. Oh! That's cool! We have food plus two hero damage against all vampires. That's pretty damn good. Although it's it's a little, but you know, plus two max point for every point. Of Hello synergy. So I get two hit points, which this is not a lot, but I'm going to gain two hit points. I think the buildings are unlocking the slots. Let me check. Yeah, two slots for tools, two slots for... So as I upgrade the buildings and gain stuff on, and build more stuff, I'm gonna have... That's really tight, man. Guys, when we come back... Oh, that's right. We got the Ruins card. Gives a random basic resource. Spawns a... 
Let's get rid of the storm temple. Let's go with the ruins. I could also start, if I can increase my max number of cards, the necromancer would be really good for mosquito. Because I don't get much regen as a necromancer and I don't like to take it. But like all those undead things that like to regen their hit points. Guys, it's time. When we come back, we're going to start going through chapter 2. And what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to eventually... I'll start with the Necromancer, probably, because I seem to be... These classes are so fun. Although, look, there's still lots of stuff to unlock for them. There must be, like, the warehouse. Camp limit's pretty good. Mud hut. Uh, hovel. You can give residents furniture or food to... St I don't... There's a watchtower, library, river, I don't know why you- and a bridge, I don't know what And a war camp, I don't even know what that means. But, you know, when we come back, we will finally, I think we're finally going to be able to start going through chapter 2. I really do need to upgrade these, uh... You can't upgrade the smelter, you can't upgrade the smithy. It unlocks it and allows you to start expedition with basic gear for any class. Oh my god. Also, it gives you another tool and another relic. Thing. Yeah. Dude, base building is so important in this game, and we're going to do it next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.